everyone, it's me, Kate. Welcome back to the shop. Thanks for tuning in to another one of our videos. Guys, we have been busy, super busy. We got a huge shipment in from HP Velotechnic in Germany. What are these boxes? Get a good box. Shop, my biceps. Tons of trikes and HP accessories that we're really excited to build up. Lewis built up an enduro that looks awesome. Wyatt was building up an ice trike. And speaking of ice trikes, today we've got two of them for you to take a look at, both with different electric options. We'll be looking at an Ice Adventure and an Ice Adventure HD. The first outfitted with standard gearing and our 1000 watt hub motor. And the second is set up with a 1000 watt Bafang mid drive and the 14 speed roll off transmission. Ice makes amazing trikes. You've seen the ice full fat. We've shown you the Sprint X. And you may have already seen the video we've done on the Ice Adventure. So we won't spend too much time talking details on this trike. If you want to know more, click on the link at the top of the screen or follow the link down in the description. To summarize, the Ice Adventure is Ice's premier touring trike. It sits high off the ground, comes stock with 20 inch wheels all around and has a lot of upgrade options available. You can add things like suspension, cargo racks, pannier bags, and safety features such as lights, flags, and mirrors. Upgrades are great, we love them. We especially love electric upgrades. We've been setting up more electric trikes than ever before. With more and more people looking for alternative forms of transportation, electric powered trikes and quads continue to increase in popularity. The ICE is available with the factory Shimano E-Steps motor, which is a 250 watt motor. Here in the US, we found most of our customers are looking for something with a little more power. So we offer the boom mounted Bafang mid drive or our UT custom 1000 watt hub motor. The first build we'll be looking at is the Ice Adventure HD. It has a higher weight capacity than the standard Adventure, and this one features a 1000 watt Bafang mid drive option. The Bafang is also available as a 750 or a 500 watt motor, so if 1000 watts of awesome electric power seems like a bit too much, never fear, there are smaller options available. The Bafang motor works like a transmission does on a car. It drives power through the chain to your rear cassette and allows you to still use those gears. Because you lose your gearing on the front end, you might consider swapping out that rear cassette for an internally geared hub. For instance, this Adventure HD features the 14 speed roll off in the rear. Along with the Bafang motor up front paired with the roll off hub, this Adventure is also decked out with the Ice Ergo Lux mesh seat, pannier bags, an Altura bar bag, a Cat Eye Amp 800 headlight and a rapid x3 tail light and as if that wasn't enough it's been upgraded to include both front and rear suspension talk about a luxurious ride am i right our customer also wanted a second battery for longer range they wanted both batteries mounted symmetrically so we had to create a custom battery bracket for the left side doing so means that the trike will no longer fold but our customer was okay with it which means we were also okay with it with all of these added features this build came in at just under eleven thousand dollars the second adventure features our UT Custom 1000 watt hub motor. Unlike the Bafang, which replaces the front crank set, this motor gets laced into your rear wheel. We offer a 390, 470, and 540 RPM version of the motor with the lower RPM versions having more torque, but lower top speed. The hub motor, rather than running power through your chain line like the front mounted Bafang, applies power directly to the rear wheel. 
A special feature offered with our hub motor is the ability to go in reverse. Typical configuration of the controls includes the console and throttle being mounted on the left hand, and we put the reverse button on the right. To use reverse, simply hold down the reverse button while simultaneously easing onto the throttle and suddenly, you're in reverse, you're backing up, it's a thing of magic. Our hub motor fits with your cassette and unlike the Bifang, you get to keep your front gearing. This adventure has a nine speed cassette in the back paired with a triple crank set up front. That 27 speed gearing plus a thousand watt hub motor is a nice combination for any rider. Like the previous adventure, this one is outfitted with the ICE Ergo Lux mesh seat, has both front and rear suspension, and has a few other accessories like a water bottle cage with a riser, power grip straps for the pedals, and those super comfy ICE wrist rests. Which is really like, if you look at those, it's like a mattress for your wrists while you ride. It's, it's very impressive. With all its added accessories, this build costs a little over $7,000. Both systems use our 860C color console. It's an LED display that shows you things like trip distance and time, miles per hour, average speed, your battery level and wattage. Dylan is gonna run you through operation. All right guys, I'm gonna go over the basic operation of the uh, computer display for our motor system here. Now the Bafang systems and the UT Custom Hub motor system is gonna use the same computer display, buttons and everything. So, we're gonna come here, hold the power button. Wow, Utah trikes, cool. So, here we have our power assist setting, it always defaults to one. So zero is not gonna do anything, and we'll take it all the way up to nine, being max power. Here is gonna have your speedometer, it's gonna tell you how fast you're going. Um, then we have our watt, read out here, so it's gonna tell you how many watts it's putting out. Trip meter, um, time, there you can make the screen a little brighter. If we click the menu button, that'll take us to odometer, show you total miles, and range. Um, and here we have our throttle right here as well. So again, when this is in zero, it's not gonna do anything. And when we pull the brake lever here, since our systems come with the brake sensors, the little warning light there pops up and that means that the motor is not going to work when the brake lever is pulled. And that's the basic rundown on the computer display for these motor systems. Both of these tracks were built up by our downstairs guys, Luke and Ben, who you should be familiar with if you watch our videos. Once they finished installing the motors and getting the consoles programmed, Dylan and Lewis took both of them out for a test ride. Look at that nice pouch, okay. All right, guys, Dylan here. Today, Lewis and I are going to be riding these sweet motorized ice adventures. This one features a 1000 watt Bafang mid drive. This one has the UT Custom 1000 watt hub motor with reverse. We're gonna ride these two around for a bit and then swap, and then we'll give you our take on each one. See, these power grip straps are too big for Lewis's shoe. Good thing that they can be adjusted and come in an XL and standard size. We're gonna climb this hill, throttle only. You ready, Dylan? I'm ready. Are you ready? Always. Let's do it. Let's get it. Gotta get arrow. I'm trying to get arrow. So why are we so slow going up the hill? It's because I don't have the gearing behind my motor to act as a transmission. Right, so I was in, started off in a mid-range gear. The torque of that motor straight to the rear wheel was able to get off a little bit quicker than Lewis did with the hub motor. I tried to get arrow, it didn't work. How does one get arrow? 
<laughs> I'll be getting arrow later when I try to ride that. Ice adventure is always great. Roll off and thousand watt combo. It's hard to beat that really. Just gotta make sure you're in the right gear for the situation. If you're in high gear, you come to a stop, you wanna shift that down to an appropriate gear. Especially if you're putting power through the, through the, from the motor to the hub. It's so fast that my hands are freezing. It's a UT Custom thousand watt hub motor with reverse pretty fast. This is the 390 RPM motor, which means it has a little more torque, but not as much high-end speed. If you want more high-end speed, you can go with the 540 RPM motor. So this isn't a direct comparison between these two systems. There's a lot of variables going here, different options, different gearing, uh, different wheel sizes. Um, so this is mainly just to get our take uh, on each of these configurations. Well, Dylan, it's my turn on the roll-off. All right, well, let's do it. Hey, thanks for putting the brake on. Okay, this is what we're gonna have to do for me since I'm not the tallest fella. I'll do the Lewis's arrow pose here so I can actually reach. Ooh, reverse. So you push this fancy little button here. That's pretty fancy. And then hit the throttle. Wow. And you do, you do have to pedal backwards with it because it'll spin, the pedals will spin back as you're rolling back. So Lewis left this in the highest possible gear for me. So thanks, Lewis. You got a throttle. I got a throttle, that's no big deal. I mean, it's already sized too big for him anyway, so he couldn't pedal. The Bafang has a lot of torque. Really gets up and goes off the start. Well, yeah, yeah, and that, um, that roll off, you know, with the gear range on that roll off, you've got enough to get you up hills and hit a decent top end speed. Yeah. Yeah, the hub motor is great. Um, your gearing, you know, being separate from the, the motor system really, you know, allows you to use whatever gear you want and the motor is just gonna help you along. So this one being the standard adventure uh, fits me a little bit better than the HD does. The HD is still comfortable, it's a little wider and taller. So this trike has some extras that I have to slap on. I took them off so they didn't get all muddy when we were out riding, but we'll see you inside. Okay guys, so as I was saying, we have some extras. Here you go, that's it. Utah Trikes water bottle, and these bags. Now, the ice side bag wasn't working with these, or the ice bar bag was not working with these particular side bags, but I'll show you how we got around that. This slides up and in, and this guy. Yeah. Okay, so normally um, the, the mount for this side bag would mount under here and come out right here, but it was bumping into a lot of stuff. So we used a UT Custom Super Mount bar, mounted it under here, and, and then we kicked it out the side. Fits fairly all right through there, and got it, got it to work. 
after making sure they rode well and that everything was in order with the motor systems, we boxed these beauties up and shipped them off to their new owners. We hope you guys enjoy. If you see this, hope you enjoy your new trikes. We hope you all enjoyed the video. If anything, we hope you learned a little bit more about some electric motors that are available to you. I know this probably didn't answer all of your questions, we're gonna be doing more in-depth reviews in the future of each system. If you have something that you're just dying to know, drop us a comment and we'll get back to you. As always, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you want coronavirus to go away and subscribe so you don't miss any of our new content. Thanks everyone, we'll see you in the next video. Ducks, those lucky, lucky ducks. Did you catch the sports ball game last no, night? Sports ball's been canceled. Okay, I was testing you. You fast. Ladies, I'm single. Just want to try to catch some feelings, not coronavirus. Riding through the streets of quarantined Payson, Utah. Lewis isn't feeling all right. Lewis, maybe be a little bit more uh, sarcastic, a little more upbeat. Just so everybody's aware, I know a lot of you are really concerned. Nobody at Utah Trikes has been diagnosed officially yet, says Dylan, with the coronavirus. So, like, we're fine. Lewis was feeling a little sicky sick in the tummy earlier, but I think he's fine. He'll be fine. He threw up, like a cartwright with, like, <laughs> like a cartwright with a Nuvinki in 380. <laughs> Part of the bloopers. Oh, I'm Focus. yeah. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I have to do that. Do you have anything you want to tell the people? Earthquakes aren't fun. Wash your hands.